This is a Spirit P70 Mini Super Yacht. It's designed to do a thousand miles at an average of 18 knots across the North Sea. We went about looking at what the requirements of the customer were. So we looked at how he wants to live on board, how he likes to anchor, what he does with the yacht. And then we looked at the conditions of the North Sea and what the challenges that faces. At Spirit Yachts, we, we build wooden yachts. And one of the reasons we build out of wood is because wood is very light. You know, fundamentally, it floats where fiberglass wouldn't. So we are able to build a very light vessel after that, it looks at every bit of equipment we put on board, the weight of the engines, the weight of the generator, the weight of the air conditioning, how much hot water we need to store, but at the same time, making sure we can keep the functionality of the yacht working. It has everything you'd expect from a super yacht. The owner will keep the P70 in the UK and cruise to the Baltic in the summer so the yacht has to be capable of undertaking long passages in comfort and in style. The Spirit P70 is almost half the weight of its fiberglass and resin counterparts at 24 tonnes, so that it gets the most out of the 10,000 litres of fuel on board. And rather than typically putting two great V8 engines in here, we got two straight sixes and the size of the engines was reduced. And then the whole process from then onwards was all about how we could use every litre of diesel in the most efficient way to travel, but also to run all the services on board. The heart of the electrical system are two 24 volt 8 kVA Victron Energy Quattros wired in parallel. The reason for two Quattros is twofold really. One is that it gives us plenty of headroom for um, being able to supply all of the loads on the boat. So we, we don't really have to worry about splitting the boat into circuits that the inverter can supply and circuits that only the generator can supply because actually we've got more peak power um, available from the inverters than we have from the generator. We've got 16 kVA from the inverters and we've only got 13.5 kVA from the generator. So the, the inverters will run everything on this boat. Along with the 13.5 kilowatt Onan generator, Energy Solutions chose eight 200 amp hour lithium batteries in parallel, giving a total capacity of 40 kilowatt hours. This lightweight but large capacity of energy has been designed to allow quiet time for the customer overnight. High load items like air conditioning can keep the yacht cool throughout the night without a generator running. The reserve power within the batteries also acts as a buffer over a longer period of time and as the yacht will travel between the UK and Scandinavia, high powered shoreline is not readily available. So the system has been designed to operate with a single 32 amp shoreline. The incoming shore power onto the boat's got an isolation transformer. Spirit fit isolation transformers as a matter of course on all of their builds. And they do that really for two reasons. One is to prevent galvanic corrosion issues. And galvanic corrosion is obviously a significant um, issue if you've got a steel or an aluminium hull. But it is also an issue for uh, fiberglass and wooden boats as well, because there are metallic objects below the water line. But also there's the issue of safety of uh, people swimming in the water around a boat. If you do have uh, certain faults that can occur um, that can actually put mains voltage down to underwater components and there's been a number of reported deaths of um, swimmers around boats where they've had these kind of faults and an isolation transformer um, will um, provide that extra safety for your guests and, and people swimming around the boat. And then I guess thirdly you just don't know that um, the marina has wired up their outlet correctly so it's all very well to, to just plug into a shore power um, connection. It should be, live and neutral should be the right way around, but with an isolation transformer, you don't need to worry whether it is the right way around because you can correct the polarity on the output side of the transformer. So all of those things 
combined really, to my mind, make an isolation transformer a bit of a no-brainer. Whilst the yacht is navigating the North Sea, each MAN I-6 800 horsepower engine also charges the batteries with dedicated high output alternators. Spirit yachts install a range of Victron components throughout their different size vessels and have also worked with energy solutions for 20 years. We basically do three things into three industries. We distribute product, Victron being a big part of it. We build electrical panels and we provide uh, electrical design services. And we do that into marine, specialist vehicles and off-grid. And although they seem quite dissimilar types of fields, in, in reality, they've all got the same problem, which, which either a lack of access to mains power or an intermittent access to mains power. The yacht has three levels. The top deck is a flybridge with forward facing seats and an external navigation point. Behind that on the upper deck is a six person dining area and a 750 kilogram crane for a 3.7 meter rib. The yacht has deep bulwarks to allow guests to move around on deck safely when out at sea. The wheelhouse sits midship with comprehensive Ray Marine navigation equipment with plenty of seating and a dedicated chart plotting table area. The rest of the vessel is separated within bow and stern areas. In front of the wheelhouse is the main saloon with panoramic views from the forward windows. The main cabin for the owner is at the bow with an ensuite including a bath. There is also a single cabin in this area, which doubles up as an office. To the rear of the wheelhouse is an open plan dining saloon and fully equipped galley. With so much power capacity on board, the galley has an American style fridge freezer, dishwasher and induction hob cooking. To the stern of this level are two twin guest cabins and a shower room. Under the guest cabins is where the two quattro inverter chargers are housed, as well as the lithium ion batteries. To the stern is a large engine room. Two MAN I6 engines can generate a maximum speed of 25 knots and have oil filled shafts to keep noise to a minimum. Within the engine bay is the generator as well as water heating, the main electrical connections on board and air conditioning equipment. The P70 has curved fin stabilizers that make overnight conditions for dining and sleeping super comfortable, even when moored in rough seas. I've described this boat really as being something like a 26 meter super yacht crammed into a 70 foot hull. Uh, so it's um, it is quite uh, technical, it's quite complex because there are a lot of systems. If you scan around the engine room, we've got air conditioning chillers here, uh, we've got big inverter chargers, we've got stabiliser systems. So it's got all the super yacht features, but in, in, in quite a compact little, little vessel. The owner has had the yacht for over a year now and he loves it. The owner used the yacht last summer um, for numerous trips, you know, with the COVID restrictions. Um, and he phoned me up one time and he said, I am fizzing with excitement. It is the best yacht I've ever owned. I'm doing 25 knots into a 25 knot headwind and it is perfect. How did that make you feel? Ah, oh, it's great when you get feedback from customers. You know, he, 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 his enthusiasm to the project from the beginning to the end was amazing. Um, and when you hear after you know, several years of hard work to get to where we've got, with all the supplies helping to make it happen, oh, it's brilliant.